Hello, welcome. DJ Vic Faber with you. And uh, I wanted to put together a little beginner's course or just kind of a little tutorial to go through uh, Expert Records Cthulhu plugin. So it's been out a while, but as I searched YouTube when I first uh, started using it, I knew there was a lack of tutorials or videos. There's a few things out there that might help you a little bit, but I wanted to maybe put together something a little bit more in detail. So as far as downloading it and getting it installed, you'd just want to come to xforrecords.com and um, Steve Duda, the creator of x for records uh, has several different things going on here. He has Serum, LFO Tool, Cthulhu, and Nerve, and we're going to focus on Cthulhu. So we want to go here, and then it's going to give you a brief description, and if you can, of course, see uh, the price on it's $39 which I think is quite reasonable considering what uh, what you get here, the benefit what you get. Not to mention just the plug-in and the things that I'm going to show throughout the tutorial that it's capable of, but you also get, uh, when you purchase something from Steve or from Expert Records, specifically you get that support from Steve. He's typically quite responsive within his emails and his correspondence to you. And um, if there's nothing that... Uh, you know he's going to help you with directly. Of course, you've got the forums, which are quite in depth here on the on the uh, site. So you can go there and probably find a lot of common questions and common solutions to any things you might be, any any kind of things you might be encountering. So, with that being said, let's take a look here. So Cthulhu, you just want to come through and it can give you a brief idea of uh, you know that what it's capable of, and then you've got the Windows version and the Mac version. And it gives you some screenshots and things like that and gives you a little system requirements down here. So having said that, you can download a demo. And of course, I think it's, uh, let me see if there's a description here. Um, I can't remember what the demo does, but I think it times out after 10 or 15 minutes or something like that. So that is where you can get Cthulhu downloaded, paid for. And then once you bring it into the system, you can go through the installation uh, steps for your... Um, specific uh, computer whether it's Windows or Mac so once it's installed let me move the screen here I'm gonna take this tutorial throughout and we're gonna use uh, Ableton Live now of course some of the uh, routing procedures are pretty common but uh, you might want to consult the manual here that I'm gonna browse through as we go through the course uh, just as a good point of reference Plus, also have it up here visually for you to be able to read yourself in case my explanation isn't just perfect. Um, we'll have the manual for us as a reference. But anyhow, routing-wise, once it's installed, it could be a little different from DAW to DAW. So consult a manual there to, to get that. But specific to Ableton, what we need to do then is once we have it open, we want to go to our plugins and VSTs. And I've got Cthulhu right here. So Cthulhu will load onto a MIDI track. So let me open this back up here. Get rid of the audio. We won't be needing it. Well, maybe later. But anyhow, Cthulhu will load onto a MIDI track. So we'll load Cthulhu there. And I am going to load one more MIDI track. Let me get rid of that reverb, send, and delay. I don't need that. So insert MIDI. And let's get us a synthesizer. And I'll explain what I'm doing here in just a minute. Let's keep everything in the family. And let's get Serum involved. Another one of X for Records products that you may have noticed on that page. So let's just go down to... I don't know, we'll just grab any old random... Um, Let's do that one. I don't know what it sounds like, but if it's annoying, we'll fix it later. All right, so back to Sierra, back to Cthulhu. I'm sorry. When it first opens, once you have it loaded, installed, and then you select that out of your VST, when it first opens, you, you notice right away that you get a header up top here with the name, X4 Records, things like that. Uh, one button for chords and one for the arpeggiator. We're going to turn the arpeggiator off. And now it just gives us this panel here. It kind of takes it and makes it a little smaller there. We're going to start focusing on chords right now, though. And then we'll move towards the arpeggiator next. 
this little speaker button indicates that Cthulhu will put out a sound, but that's not its primary function. It's more like a test tone, um, probably a little saw wave or something. It's, it's nothing too musical, unless that's kind of the sound you're looking for. I don't know. I'm going to actually click on the speaker and turn it off. Because what our goal now is, is to send the MIDI from Cthulhu to Serum. And that's basically the function of this. Cthulhu is a chord generator, an arpeggiator. So what it wants to do is send its information to another VST an, a, via a synth or whatever you want to put in there to generate the sound. But here in Ableton, the way we're going to do that is Cthulhu is loaded here. So I'm going to, I'm going to arm, uh, let me see here first. Yeah. Well, I'm just going to use my computer keyboard. I'm not going to use my M audio. I don't have it hooked up right now. So we're going to use the computer keyboard for sending MIDI in. So let me, you can see there I'm pushing the letter G and I'm getting a signal. So next step, I want to tell Serum where to get its MIDI from. So MIDI from Cthulhu. And I want to tell it what to listen to on this channel where Cthulhu is housed. So on the second drop down, we want to say we want we want you to get MIDI from Cthulhu, channel one, and we want you to listen specifically to Cthulhu the plugin, and then we want to arm that as an in as well. Let's see if we can get something going over there. All right, so no, even though I'm pushing my MIDI and you see it reflected on this, it's still not generating a signal because now Cthulhu hasn't been instructed by me on what chords to use or what chords to work with, and that set is right here chord presets. So let me go ahead, click on that, and then it, this is what comes loaded with Cthulhu. You've got some Bach chorales, some you know diatonic stuff, classical stuff, and some different audio stuff. But we're just going to grab one of the Bach chorales. And what that is, is you push one note, and it's going to give you a sequence of four notes in response to that note. And now we're getting our sound because now it has chords to generate with. So I'm pushing my computer keyboard, the letter G. It's sending that information over to Serum in the form of this chord that's lit up on the keyboard. This note, this note, this note. So pretty straightforward right there. So I'm going to stop what I've done there and we're going to go ahead and scroll through the manual here and kind of work this out together because that, that part right there is pretty easy to access. You can find some videos on people explaining that, but let's try to break this down and get a little bit deeper into the situation here. So I'll be right back with part two and we'll continue forward. Thank you.